What are the cardiovascular physiological changes that happen in elderly patients? A person aged older than 65 years is elderly or he is called geriatric patient. What are the physiological changes that happens as the person ages? Aging leads to decrease in the functional capacity of the cardiovascular system. Vascular aging is accelerated by the presence of other primary cardiovascular diseases including hypertension, atherosclerosis, diabetes, tobacco abuse, obesity, etc. There is dysautonomia in the cardiovascular system. That means there is physiological beta blockade. Aging produces a state of beta adrenergic insensitivity. There is a state of beta adrenergic insensitivity and increase in the sympathetic activity. Though the circulating catecholamine levels may be raised, there is decrease in the receptor affinity and alteration in signal transduction. Geriatrics are less responsive to exogenous and endogenous catecholamines. Elderly patients have blunted baroreceptor response to hypovolemia and exogenous catecholamines. They are more likely to have hypotension in the perioperative period. Cardiac responses to the adrenergic stimulation is reduced. Therefore, the maximum heart rate which could be raised in such stressful situation falls with age. Estimated maximum heart rate is can be calculated by the formula 220 minus age. What this means is elderly cannot compensate for exercise or any other stress by increasing heart rate. Increase in the sympathetic activity contributes to increase in the systemic vascular resistance and mechanical stiffening of the vasculature. Decreased arterial elasticity due to atherosclerosis leads to decreased arterial compliance further leading to elevated afterload that is systemic vascular resistance. Changes in the left ventricular afterload because of this raised systemic vascular resistance lead to left ventricular wall thickening which further leads to hypertrophy and impaired diastolic filling. There is also elevated systolic blood pressure. Isolated systolic hypertension is often seen and there is high pulse pressure. Conduction pathways get infiltrated with fibrous and fatty tissues leading to loss of pacemaker cells in the sinoatrial node which makes the geriatric patients vulnerable for arrhythmias. Sick sinus syndrome may ensue. Atrial fibrillation may occur secondary to left atrial enlargement. Right bundle branch block is common. However, left bundle branch block is, a not, is not a normal physiological change and such case, cases must be investigated for myocardial ischemia and infarction. Cardiac output is coupled with the metabolic needs of the body. So, aging patients have reduced cardiac output due to decreased metabolic need for the body. Cardiac output in geriatric patients are highly preload dependent since their heart rate is more or less constant. They are dependent on the frank stalling mechanism to increase the cardiac output. Small decreases in the preload like hemorrhage or decreased oral intake can cause profound reduction in the cardiac output. Aortic valve sclerosis and the mitral valvular calcification are common 2D echo findings in older patients. Aortic valvular sclerosis is associated with the increased risk for adverse cardiovascular events in the perioperative period. Interstitial fibrosis of the myocardium leads to diastolic dysfunction. In severe form, the diastolic dysfunction manifests as diastolic failure which is referred to as heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. There is greater dependence on the left atrial contraction for the left ventricular filling. There is higher left ventricular endastolic pressure which is higher for the same left ventricular endastolic volume. Higher left atrial pressure causes pulmonary congestion. 
diastolic dysfunction increases the risk of pulmonary edema during fluid administration. For the same reason, fluid administration should be judicious. There is dependence on the sinus rhythm. Atrial fibrillation is detrimental as there is no atrial kick in cases of atrial fibrillation where the atria is fibrillating. Tachycardia is poorly tolerated because of the reduced diastolic filling time. Systolic function is however preserved. Stiff venous system leads to postural hypotension. There is reduction in the cardiac reserve. Circulation time is longer. So there is longer onset of time of induction of anesthesia. Titration of the induction agents are therefore required. There is rapid uptake of inhalational anesthetic because the decreased cardiac output. So they are very sensitive to the vasodilatory properties of inhalational agents.